Hi and welcome back to Digital Toolcase. In this video I will compare two different AI tools. One is Surge Graph and the other one is Agility Writer. This video is inspired from a comment from one of my followers, it's Daniel. It's saying here the comparison between Surge Graph versus Agility in terms of content quality will be interesting. So I decided to do this video. And if you also want to suggest some videos, please write below in the comment. And obviously you can click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. So I made a video some days ago with Agility Writer, some of the new features in Agility Writer, and I made this this uh, article. It's uh, 2300 words, more or less. Do essential oils expire? If you remember, this was the article. And if you have not watched my previous video about Agility Writer, please go and watch it. It's really interesting. Now, I will do the same thing. So I will use the same topic, the same keyword in Search Graph. So we can compare the two articles in terms of quality. Obviously, you will judge because my impression on quality can be different from yours. The tools are different. I don't know exactly the AI model they are using. So obviously the result will be different. Anyway, let's go into search graph and uh, there is uh, something new into Surge Graph now. You can uh, also uh, generate your folders and uh, place your document in different folders. As you see here, this is uh, a new feature, so you can create your folders and uh, better organize your articles. Anyway, uh, I will uh, use this keyword. So keyword one, do essential oils expire? Uh, this article from uh, Agility Writer was uh, 2300 words long. I will try to generate a similar article. And I know in a search graph, if I want such a number of words, I need to use this value because it tends to go over these values. Now I just need to click on create document and the search graph is analyzing the SERP and my competitors to grab the topics. In Search Graph, you can also add your API key from OpenAI if you want. Now I just need to click here and this is the suggested outline. I will uh, keep this one because uh, I don't want to change anything in this article generation. So I have an introduction, essential oils and their shelf life, how to determine if your essential oil has expired, understanding the average shelf life of essential oils and so on. I need to say that uh, I see an improvement in outlines. This was uh, something I didn't really like uh, in Search Graph. Uh, in my opinion, uh, uh, outlines were not uh, really on point, but uh, I see uh, an improvement. I like uh, this outline. Uh, it's quite similar to the other article, but later we will compare them. Uh, so this is my outline. I click on continue. And now uh, this is my content length. I want talking point, questions, contextual terms, uh, generate and Search Graph will generate my outline uh, structure here. Perfect. Now I have my outline. As you can see, I have some talking points. Uh, I have some questions. Uh, I have some contextual terms uh, directly here for every single section. Perfect. I now can choose my tone of voice. I see they changed the default tone of voice because in the previous version, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, this uh, researcher or this lawyer was uh, the default tone, but it was generating uh, difficult to read articles. Now this radio host, podcaster, talk show host uh, should generate uh, easier to read articles and more engaging articles. But I want a little more creativity here and I want a readability easier. So let's say fifth, sixth grade. Okay, start writing. And now 
uh, search graph will uh, write my article search graph is pretty fast uh, so i want to show you in real time how many uh, times it takes to generate an article with search graph uh, again you can also add your api key so if you want to generate more articles you can do it with your uh, OpenAI keys as you can see my article is ready I have a 1800 words article here and they improved even this because I was expecting more words uh, and now is respecting more my desired length for the article this is good I have a topic coverage of 100% I have uh, my different sections uh, we will read them all with an faq section at the end and i have a 53 percent uh, optimization now here if i want i can optimize more but this is not what i want to show you in this video because obviously we need to compare with this agility writer article and for this one i didn't use any optimization but I used for example these decorations so bold words and so on I can do the same here in this SEO section where I have my improvements so for example if I click on auto optimize now search graph will try to optimize my article for different things okay now i have some improvement suggestions here the first thing i want to do is add decorations so uh, i have something similar to agility writer with some bold words i could include uh, links external links i can do it because uh, even here i have external links if i'm not wrong uh, if I remember, we had external links, we had uh, YouTube video suggestions uh, and uh, even external links. Okay, so I will add external links. Uh, let's say accept all for the sake of this example. And uh, I can also optimize my URL, for example, or optimize my title so I can accept here optimize url and that's all i will not uh, use contextual terms in this case uh, this is not the purpose of this video so this is my article with search graph uh, again now i am at 62 uh, so this uh, score is a little bit uh, better than before but i have other adjustments to do here if i want to make it even better okay so in order to do this comparison for quality i place these articles uh, one near the other so we can do uh, a comparison and obviously search graph is not generating images with ai at least at the moment i'm pretty sure they will also add this future because every ai tool is uh, doing it uh, so uh, my title here is the original one do essential oils expire but at the end of the article i have some uh, catchy titles ideas let me find them here here it is at the end of the article uh, these are some ideas the shocking truth about essential oils do they have an expiry date uh, don't use your essential oils before reading this uh, discover the surprising shelf life and so on you can read them if you want and this is my title with the search graph do essential oils expire quick tips to identify expiry you may prefer this one or one of these ones. Uh, this is very personal. Now let's go to the introduction. So this is the Agility Writer introduction. It's way shorter, as you can see, and you also have key takeaways. While here, I don't have key takeaways. But if you want, you can add key takeaways. Uh, you need to go maybe at the end of this article and use uh, commands. You can use them by clicking here, expert command. Uh, 
uh, I can generate, for example, uh, a bullet list. Uh, so create a bullet list with above article key takeaways. Let's try to generate them so we can see if it works uh, good. Okay, it generated some key takeaways. I don't know if they refer to the whole article or just the last uh, part, but anyway, you can use commands here to make your article better. In this case, let's just see the differences. So here I have key takeaways. Here I don't have automatic key takeaways. I have a longer introduction, as you can see. Now let's go to the first H2, understanding essential oil oxidation and expiration. And here I have how to determine if your essential oils has expired with some bullet points. Uh, obviously, you can stop the video and read both articles so you can judge the quality uh, by yourself. So this is my section here with my H3s. I have YouTube suggestions. Here I don't have YouTube suggestions. What is oxidation and how does it apply to essential oils? Signs of expired or oxidized essential oils with a list. And here I have assessing oil expiration, packaging date and manufacturer's guidelines, ensuring safety with a patch test. Also here I have a, a numbered lists in this case. And this is the first section. Now let's go here, shelf life and storage of essential oils. And here I have uh, understanding the average shelf life of essential oils. As you can see, the sections are pretty similar in the topic, in the subtopic, but obviously uh, they are different uh, because here I have uh, again a YouTube video. How long do essential oils last? Uh, proper storage, uh, recognizing ranched base oils. Uh, here I have these uh, citrus oils generally have shorter shelf life. Uh, proper storage, uh, interesting because I have it here and also here with a list. Uh, so you can compare these two sections. Then here I have tips for preserving essential oils. And here I have the process of essential oil expiration and here as you can see i have uh, tips for extending the shelf life of essential oils so these can be compared i have uh, practices to extend the shelf life uh, here i have a uh, proper storage techniques uh, and after this uh, section here i have how to store essential oils to prevent oxidation so this is comparable to this one and then i have my conclusion and faq section again here i have a shorter conclusion here i have a longer conclusion here i have four faqs and here i have more one two three four five six seven faqs and again you can compare these two different faq sections both articles end here but with agility i have catchy titles i have meta descriptions I also can generate an automatic meta description here. I will show you in a moment. I have a mid-journey image prompt. Uh, this is very good and uh, interesting because for every section I have different uh, uh, prompts. Uh, and here I have uh, factual data. I can fact check uh, very easily because I have a source uh, URLs. So if you want to check if something is uh, a real fact, uh, you can go to these uh, URLs and uh, fact checked very easily with Agility Writer. Uh, as you can see, these are the differences. Uh, they are both good articles, in my opinion. You may prefer one over the other. As far as I know, Surge Graph uh, will not generate the tables automatically, but if you want, you can also generate the tables again using uh, uh, commands here. So if I want uh, a table, I can go here, use an expert command, ask for a table about whatever I want, or a bullet list, or an FAQ section, 
or any other thing here. While in Agility Writer, once you have your article, you can't edit it directly here. Now I can also click here, see my competitors for the same keyword and check the terms they use, the search intent and many other things. So the readability score, for example, and so on. And when I click on publish, I can generate a meta description automatically with AI. Uh, obviously you can also regenerate it if you don't like it uh, and then publish on WordPress or if I'm not wrong here in this auto optimize I also can optimize my meta description Anyway, this is uh, Search Graph. And even with Agility Writer, if you want, you can publish directly in your WordPress. As you can see, you just need to connect your WordPress here with the site, the username, the password, uh, and you can decide the category, uh, the post, the pages, and so on for each of these articles. So you can also do it in bulk mode. Now let's talk about prices because uh, this is interesting. Uh, pricing page for Agility Writer. As you may know, you have different plans based on uh, the number of credits you can use per month and for each type of article so you will consume a different uh, amount of credits. For example, if you want to generate uh, Amazon Roundup reviews, you will use four credits per article. The optimized mode, it's four credits per article, but this is a very good mode because you can search for competitors. As you can see, it's doing something similar to Search Graph, but you will need four credits in this case. Uh, and then if you want to use the advanced mode, you will use two credits or the one click mode, one credit. If you want, I have a special code for Agility Writer. So you will have a 10% discount for every month plus a 25% more credits for the first two months. You can check in the description, obviously. In Search Graph, you can potentially generate unlimited documents, unlimited articles. You obviously have a fair policy, a fair use policy. But as you can see, you have these plans. If you just want one month, you will pay $44, more or less. If you want to commit for 12 months, this is the price you will pay uh monthly but obviously you need to anticipate all the 12 months and if you want to commit for 36 months uh, this is very 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 cheap this is the best option if you like it it's just 14 and 69 per month and you have a 30 days money back guarantee so in 30 days if you don't like it you can have your money back Anyway, I made uh, more than one video about both Agility Writer and Search Graph here on my channel. You can find the links in the description. I really hope this video was helpful for you. And if so, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Again, you can click here to watch my previous videos and I'll see you soon in the next one.